Alright, so this whole US-China chip drama just took a crazy new turn. And honestly, nobody expected this part. The United States has now approved NVIDIA to sell its H200 AI chips in China again. Yes, the same US that spent years blocking China from getting high-end chips is now saying, okay fine, you can sell this one. And why is this happening? Simple. Huawei is getting way too good. Huawei has been moving so fast with AI chips that the US suddenly realized something scary. Blocking Nvidia didn't kill China's AI. It actually pushed China to start building its own stuff faster. And now, Huawei has chips that are almost on the same level as some Nvidia systems. So the US is basically like, if we don't let Nvidia back into China, Huawei might take over that market completely. And boom, green light for NVIDIA. Now, what pushed the US to do this? Because Huawei's AI rise is real. Huawei dropped that massive AI Cloud Matrix 384, and guess what? It performs close to NVIDIA's NVL72, which is built on Blackwell, NVIDIA's most advanced chip design. The US didn't expect Huawei to catch up this fast. Nobody did. For years, the idea was block high-end chips, slow down China's AI, America stays ahead. But that backfired. Now, Chinese companies are buying Huawei chips like crazy because they have no other option. And the US suddenly realized, wait, we're giving Huawei the whole Chinese market by accident. That's why this move happened. It's not kindness, it's strategy. The US wants Chinese AI developers back. The US believes that if Nvidia can sell the H200 in China, then Chinese AI startups will stop running to Huawei. They'll come back to using US hardware, US tools, US cloud services, and US AI platforms. Basically, use our chips so you stay in our ecosystem. It's like trying to win back customers that already moved on. Trump thinks this move gives the US an 18-month advantage. Bloomberg reported that Trump believes allowing NVIDIA to sell the H200 gives the US about a year and a half of profit over China before Huawei catches up again. He thinks it reduces security risks while slowing down Huawei at the same time. So to him, it's a win-win. NVIDIA gets money, Chinese AI companies depend on the US again, Huawei struggles to dominate its home market. At least, that's the plan. But not everyone in the US likes this decision. Some US officials are extremely angry. One of them said something like, DeepSeek should have been a warning. DeepSeek is that insane Chinese AI model that beat expectations using weaker NVIDIA chips, chips the US allowed them to buy. The fear is, if China did that with old chips, imagine what they will do with H200. And honestly, that fear makes sense. China doesn't waste hardware. They push every chip to its limits. Now, NVIDIA also played a role in this. There were private meetings recently where NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang basically pushed US officials to loosen the export rules. And why? Because NVIDIA is losing the entire Chinese market. That market is worth billions, actual billions, and Huawei is eating everything left and right. NVIDIA doesn't like losing, so the US relaxed one rule. Only one, H200 can go to China. All the newer high-end super chips are still blocked. Now, what does this mean for Huawei? This is the big question. Will Nvidia's return slow down Huawei or will Huawei still dominate because China wants to be independent? Honestly, I think Huawei has already crossed the point of no return. Chinese companies now trust Huawei more than ever. No sanctions, no supply risk, competitive performance, full local support. Even if the H200 comes in, some Chinese developers will use it, but many will stay with Huawei because they don't want to rely on the US anymore. So the US move might slow Huawei a little, but it won't stop Huawei. This whole thing shows one scary truth. The US didn't approve this because it wanted to. It approved this because it had to. They saw Huawei rising in AI faster than expected. They saw the Chinese market drifting away from American tech. They saw Nvidia losing ground inside China. This is not a sign of victory. 
it's a sign of pressure. The US is trying to pull China back into its ecosystem before China's AI becomes completely independent. And the real question now is, will this actually work? Will Chinese AI developers switch back to NVIDIA? Or will they continue betting everything on Huawei? Will Huawei lose momentum? Or is this just the start of something even bigger? Right now, nobody knows. But what we do know is this. Huawei is no longer the underdog. It's now a real threat, big enough that the U.S. is changing its own rules because of it. And whatever happens next, this U.S. versus China chip war is far from over.